everyone, my name is Jack, and this is You Must Build a Boat. It's a sequel to the 10 million game, which came out a while ago, and I have played that one. I've heard a little bit about it, and this has just come out. It's essentially a sequel or a follow-up to it. If you know, if you've played 10 million, you know what this game's about, but I haven't played it. And I decided to check this game out for myself, and it's like, it's a three tile or a three matching game. You know where you're going to match the three things on a grid? And those games just don't resonate with me really well. Like, Candy Crush is probably, or Bejeweled, those are the bigger, more well-known ones. And I just don't enjoy them. I don't find the... It's kind of challenging, but it's not the right type of challenge for me. It doesn't resonate with me well. I played this game. This game is really good. Really, really good. I'm having so much fun with this game. It's on PC, Android, and, and Apple. I, I don't have an Apple device. It's an iOS, is the way to say it. I want it, I've got this on Steam now, and I want to get it for my phone. It's about $4. It's cheap as chips. It's... Awesome. So, we're going to continue. you got to build a boat. You start with a pretty small one, but I'm going to jump into where I am. I'm in the third realm after doing probably a couple of hours of playtime. I can actually tell you, I've been playing for an hour and a half. Wow. So, just over an hour, hour and a half. And this is my boat. It's getting pretty sizable. And the idea is that you go on these little missions, you get stuff, and you're making your boat bigger and better, getting more crew to help you on your journey. So, let's wake up on the bed with this little guy here. You can tell that the game is built for touchscreen devices, but the thing is it doesn't feel clunky on PC, it feels fine. But when I play it, I'm like, man, this would be even cooler on a touchscreen device, because you're generally dragging and dragging things around the screen like so. So, it's really cool. We're going to just do a run, a basic run, then I'll kind of explain some of the more unique mechanics of the game. This will be interesting, I, I don't know. I'll come back and explain the screen in a moment, we'll just start. It'll be pretty quick though. Top of the screen, we're running along the dungeon, and what we're going to do is when we hit certain things, we need to make matches. We're at a chest, we need two locks. So what I can do is I can move this here, and there's one, and I can go here, there's two. There's actually another one here, and that gives me some brains, which I'll explain later. We get some loot. Sweet. I'm progressing further. I'm going towards the right of the screen, because eventually I hit an enemy, and I- Whoa, that was a big attack. I can bring out some shields, I can get some swords, or I could get- I don't have anything else now. I need to match something to get something out of the road. Let's match those keys. And I'm attacking him, and he's pushing me back. If I, if I go off the edge of the screen, then I'm out. We managed to kill him, and then we can run up a bit more. But the thing that I like about this game, it's why it's so strategic, is you can be doing stuff while this, you know, like, while the screen's... Or while you're not attacking an enemy. Uh, while the screen's still falling with tiles. So, for example, I'm going to get rid of that, so I can get that one there. Then I'm going to attack this guy here. That's a trap, which I actually need to find a sword, but I don't have any, so it's going to freeze me. I'm probably going to lose, because he's going to knock me off. Hey, but anyway, you win. No matter how you go, you always win, because you're always going better and better. And so the cool thing I like about it is, and I'll probably get, I'll concentrate more on the second run, and we'll try and go a lot further, is that there's a lot of strategic decisions involved in matching things to the task. So if you're fighting a guy, and you're, or you've just killed him and you're running, and you kind of want to set yourself up better because you realize there's not many swords and, you know, staffs, which are your magic and physical attacks. You could be like, well, maybe I need to destroy some of the keys on my board so I can get more of those down so I'm ready in case a bad guy comes. And then usually a chest comes and you're like, oh, I just got rid of all those easy key matches. I like that. It feels very strategic. Let's keep going. Alrighty, so crates are another thing that, oh gosh, we've got a guy right here. Let's go for a sword match, uh, a shield match to defend us from knocking us back. We'll match that as well. Uh, we'll go for a three match and then another three match. There's a two times multiply there, which I'll probably use right here if that's two. Actually, I got like four then. That was awesome. Alright. Sword. Um... I'm not very good at noticing matches. Matches? I think it's a matches. Oh, look, up here. I can actually rotate it the other way as well. Don't knock me off. Okay, I need some shields. Shields. Get all these crates out of the road. Gonna match some of this other. I would consider it junk. Ah, oh, I need to get rid of these. I need. I need keys. I need keys. I can't see the key match. There mustn't be one. No! Okay, let's go back home. I'll explain some of the bigger concepts when I come back. The way it works is you start in the starting area, and it builds you up very, very slowly. It's definitely not this hard at the start. 
And then you do quite you do quests in that area. Once you've done enough, you go to the next area. And then I'm on the third area at the moment. So let's explain some of the bigger mechanics or the, the long game mechanics. And essentially what it means by you winning all the time is you're getting loot. You're getting money, brawn, and brains, and I think that's silver. I, I watched Good Game, which is an Australian gaming show, and the guy jokingly said it looks like a pile of cocaine, but I don't think that's it. What can we do with those goods? Well, down here, Stan, the very first guy you get, you can upgrade your sword. So that means you do more damage. And I've actually got lots of gold now, and I've been saving up my, my silver to do this. I have to use one silver to do this. So I'm going to upgrade my minimum, maximum, critical chance. So let's do that. Let's smash this. Oh my gosh! It's such a big one. It's such a big upgrade. There, okay, we did it. Lots more damage, which really should help us. Anything else? I'm going to save it because I want to spend at this lady here. Yeah, it's 360, but that will get my staff similarly. So we've got this character up here as well. Uh, and monsters that I've found, I can then spend my brain and brawn to unlock. I don't think there's any which I can unlock now. i got to get 120 or 30 or 100. So when I match three brains, my total goes up by three. So unlocking them gives me extra little bonuses. I don't know if I can show you the bonuses but like for example one of them was like 10 percent more damage or when i use a food power up we haven't even shown power ups yet i go a bit further i want to go over here with a question exclamation mark that's not a question mark it is our encyclopedia uh so what we can do is actually we can go through and see all the different stats so he tells us about different power ups different monsters what they're vulnerable to so mummies are vulnerable to fire there's for example there was power ups here so this one here does physical damage to a monster this one breaks all of the crate tiles, because it's got a picture of a crate in it. That kind of stuff. So let's go on another mission. We'll see how we go. The other thing I should explain is quests. We're doing the jail at the moment, and it starts with 90% danger and 100%. I don't know what this is actually. Money? I actually don't know what that symbol is. Quality of gems, possibly? Bruises. What did that guy say bruises was? You gain tw- That's not it. Bruises. Oh, there. Monsters and Bruises Dungeon are very slow, but hit very, very hard. Ah, that's why it's very hard at the moment. So, by adding the Kenai quest, when we 8 double matches, I get Bruises, and it makes it very hard. But I can also add on this one, match 30, 38 Staff Tiles, so I can actually turn on this one now. So now we won't have Bruises, we'll just have that. Let's see if we can do it now. Alright, can we get a shield up? No, we're gonna get, Ah, oh, it's a bad guy. Okay, match, match, match. I'm just gonna get stuff off the field. I need to get a shield up before I die. Oh, I matched that the wrong way. Okay, that should kill me. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of some of these. Get rid of the crates. Oh. Oh gosh, there's a lot of bad guys here. I'm gonna need a lot of uh, that, that. I just need to start matching stuff so I can get as many physical damage bonuses. Oh, this one's awkward. Um, uh, that. Oh, look. Ah! Oh, I still didn't kill him. No! Okay, do it again. Do it again. This is nearly full. What does that mean? I presume it's some help once you've failed enough. Which we're probably going to have to... Oh, I should have saved it quicker. Well, two times attack. That would definitely kill him. Okay, four shields. Only two layers of shield, which is great. Chest. Thank you. Let's do that. That will give me a two times bonus to get to it once. There were some crates. Okay, we got a bad guy. We're doing damage already, which is terrific. Breaking the crates. I won't use that just yet. That would be overkill. Uh, let's do that one. And that one. This here will do physical damage. So as soon as we see someone, we're going to knock him out. It's a chest. Let's not do that. Down there, we're giving a double because I'm doing four instead of the normal three. Okay, this one here. There's lots of damage, not that much though. Okay, let's do an extra bonus here, get some shields up. I can freeze enemies, but let's unlock some chests first. This freezes time or freezes enemies? I think it freezes enemies. Oh, I need a key. I need a key power up. Oh, just on the track. Okay, we got to the end of the jail and now we're in the jail too. Rich chests? Oh yeah, more chests, but also very dangerous. <laughs> okay, bad guy. Let's freeze him. Boom. If that didn't kill someone. I've got another power-up. Awesome. Usually when things go well, they usually go really well for me. <laughs> uh, only one... Ah, uh, we'll just waste a double match. I'm 
Then towards the edge of the screen, which is great. And more shield to be terrific. Okay, freeze the enemy. Um, there. Get rid of this to pull it down. Pull that across. That. And go around there. Boom, got him once. Man, we went back a long way with that attack. Oh, okay, chest. There's a double chest for you. I'm ready. Boom. Take that. Okay, you did. <laughs> Another shield up, please. Stop us from falling back as much. What do we got next? Gel 3. Rich chest. Tough monsters. More chests. Oh, 180. I've never had it that high before. It's really scary. Oh, disarmed. Oh, wow. That was close. Okay, I just, I didn't mean to unlock that that well, but sweet. Oh, another chest. Crates. We must be able to get rid of some crates here. Another, jeez. Look at the money we're getting there. We can definitely get that upgrade now. Just waiting for someone. Okay, boom, you. Take lots of damage. Take my extra shields. Oh, I still didn't kill you? That will. Oh no, that did. Whew. Need more shields. More shields, more brains. Gel 4, I've never been this high. Oh, I'm so glad I'm going a really good run now. Power monsters, oh gosh, 200%. We're so dead. Oh, that was not even the right one. Okay, there's a guy right there. I'm getting lots of loot though. Boom, eat it. Uh, physical attack damage, it's not going to do much though. Wow, we have nothing on the board to help us. Okay, just start breaking stuff. Okay. Oh, multi-attack! Yes, yes! Look how quickly he's knocking us back! Give me a staff! Oh, now the staff's not gonna work! What does the horn mean? What did that do? Oh! <laughs> What's going on? Okay, that one there. That one there. I just need another key. I just need another key. Oh, well, we matched three at Star Wars. Wow, 630 all time best. That was awesome. Goodness me. I apologize if the audio quality is not so great. I My main recording software doesn't work with this game, so I'm using another one, which I can't do all the audio processing on. But my goodness, it was worth playing this game because I want to show it to you. I enjoy it so much. You can tell when I get into it. I really enjoy it. Anyway, we did the quest. We get a reward. So the box breaks open. Guy. It's a sapper. Get some money from it as well. Now he appears uh, in the, the monster loot place. Well, let's go to our guy. What's his name? Uh, this guy here, fallen warriors, resistant to physical, immune to freeze. Okay, that's probably good to know. So we talked to this lady over here. Uh, that guy there. Now we can now recruit him, which is pretty cool. Can we recruit anyone? I don't think we got enough. No. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade our weapons. Smash the bottom. There we go. Cool. That's much stronger. Can't do it with any more silver. But let's do another one. That increases minimum by two, maximum by one, critical by two. And that's both of them by two. Let's do both of them by two. So 11 to 15, would it be 13 to 17? 13 to 18. Nice. Let's get in the stand. I don't think there's anything for 160 though. Nope. All right. And you just do it again. You just do it over and over again. But hey, it's lots of fun. So, we can try and do this quest here, and the other one is deal over 200. Ooh, what's misty? Let's just do this one. Let's try and do the bruises one. We're a bit stronger. This is nearly filled up again. Look, there's a... There's a lot of stuff. Okay. So, I can't even remember what the quest is. Oh, form eight double matches. Well, there was a lot of matches. I hope we don't need keys. I just got rid of a whole lot of them. But oh, there we go. <laughs> Some... I drag that one across. Right, you. Oh, I need a key match. Ooh. Um, hmm. Mm, that's not that. That's this one. And bummer. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got that there. Look. Double matches. No, go up. Oh, alright. Just go across then. 
I like how you can move them while they're still moving. And I like that it's not just like switching two tiles, it's it's a constant moving. Things can always be changed. Where is everyone? Oh, that was it. Alright. I'll take it. There's a triple match for you. Five and a oh okay. That just demolished everything. Let's freeze enemies even more. And then start making some matches happen. I kill them. Lovely. Another one. Bummer. Uh, there, 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 there. There's a lot of brawn. Get rid of all that stuff. There's a five in a row for you to get out of the... Get off the screen. Okay, there's got to be some matches now. There. There. Uh, give me some red. And blue. Double match. But it's still not enough. That's enough. Oh, there's another guy. Can these guys just stop appearing, please? I'm not ready for all this. What does the... Oh, the horn. All of the enemies that I have, on all my crew, they seem to come out and do damage? What madness is that? Okay, that was just a complete sheer luck. I, I don't even know what I did then. What madness happened then? Okay, I don't know what crazy, but hey, we did the double matches. Awesome. So we get someone new? It's a lady. She have a funny leg? No, it's just the way she walks. What ho? Success is attained through an iron defense. Mm, maybe she can trim me in defense. You have my hammer. And my sword. Alright, just my hammer, okay? You must build a boat. Hey, it's been like, wow, it's even bigger now. That's awesome. So every time you get a new person that comes up saying you must build a boat, keep building. Hey look! Defense. Permanently damage permanent damage resist plus one. Enemy speed reduce plus one. Max shield power plus one. Speed boost per match plus one. Like honestly, both of these can be upgraded. Two oh, two percent. Five shields per match, a weapon max shield. That's not actually not that not that great. <laughs> what goes in this room? There must be more people. That's so cool. Let's do one more. 200 damage and run for 220. Let's just do both. It's a short one. It's Misty. Who knows? What does Misty even mean? Can I get myself a shield up for the start? Looks like a no. There we go. Get that chest. Ah, oh, key, key, key. <laughs> I hate those. They usually freeze you or something for a long amount of time. You can't do anything, it's all lame and... Look, am I going that match or that match? That match. Okay. Give me some defense. Give me some more defense and some more damage. Spin that round. Boom. Now keys. Keys, keys, keys it is. Oh, more keys. More keys. More keys. Boxes. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, what's it say? Power rich. Power. Power. Great. Power monsters. Terrific. Um. Oh wow. I, I do not have much at all. Quick. Drop that to. Not there. Bummer. Um. Oh look. There's three. If I spin around. That's such a big guy. Can it, like, stop bullying me? Oh. <laughs> hey, we ran for 220 meters. Quite a collection. What? It's a ore. That is a very nice collection of loot you have there. I have been collecting on a week. Quite the collection indeed. It sounds kind of mysterious. I'll give you a good price for it. Hey, maybe I can sell my loot now. But I don't know if I want to keep my loot for anything. Hey, we must build a boat. I enjoy this game. I really enjoy the pace, the, the constant, like, you're always getting better stuff. And you keep going. If you're really struggling the match, you can just keep doing more of them, get more money, and upgrade with your weapons. I have buyers ready to spare your loot. Is this just like selling my stuff? Wow, I had a lot of stuff. Gee, some of them are massive. Wow, what? Well, I hope I don't have to keep any of that. Okay, we got loads of stuff. Let's recruit. Is there anyone where I can like kind of make more of a set? 
No. Okay. So let's get this person. 25% arrow damage. That's pretty cool. Arrow power up, though. This doesn't happen very often. Um, screen stays zoomed in when I do this screen for some reason. I don't know why. 1% critical. Well, 1% is better than nothing. Um, we don't have enough anymore. We need. We only need five more, though. Okay. Uh, what does that guy want to tell us? In a short dungeon, the distance between segments is reduced by 50%. Okay. And chests and small dungeons are effectively invisible in misty dungeons. This guy's resistant to physical and resistant. Oh, gee. So giant's just resistant to anything. Awesome. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Let's upgrade the stuff. Let's do this a little cheap one over here. Lovely. 1.3. Uh, let's go back to Stan. We can do a big upgrade. What is in here? It's cheaper. Let me get more from it. Bam! 14, 18. Lovely. We can keep going? Oh, we can. Come on, get over 20. Okay. 16 to 19. We'll stay at that then. One more run. Let's make it the final run. Oh, it might not actually. This is the final quest for this area. It's Misty, deal over 200 damage. I don't even know if we'll be able to do 200. We'll have a look and see what we do. Okay, there's a guy right there. Oh, that's 18. You'd have to do a lot of damage. I think this might be a time where I have to just keep getting lots of loot and power myself up. Like that. I don't know, was that 200 damage? I wasn't watching. I can't look up there. It's way too hectic. Okay, chest. Whoa, four. That's nuts. There you go, that's four. Match crates and stuff, because crates are frustrating. They just take up space, freeze enemies. I'm still moving back though. Oh no, that one's gonna go there. Now I can, I can push that. Oh, sword. Oh, I disarmed it and attacked the guy at the same time. Awesome. Uh, another guy, another guy. That one, that one, then that one. Not even looking, I'm just looking at what symbol I need. Chest. I'm just looking for matches, just constantly. For oh, more chests. This one's nuts. Wow, that's not what I expected. Okay, so once I complete this chest, if I complete this chest, if I can complete this chest, Okay, we can. Okay, as soon as I start running, activate this. Wow, I got a lot from that. Wow! Okay, because that boosts me up. And I should do it only when I'm moving, because otherwise it doesn't really take effect. Uh, okay, shields. Guy or chest? Guy. Cool. Bring in the pain. Bring in the... Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> I want chests. I like chests. They don't push me back as much. Yes, the chest. Oh, I disarmed the trap as well. That's awesome. Um, we need to bring stuff down so I have some more. Okay, that's a five time, but hey, that would do. Oh, no! No! I don't like you! I really don't like you, this character. Oh, you have so much health. You are just not even fun. Why do you get invited to parties? Oh, no, I ruined up that match. Look, four times match! Hey! We did it! We did it! Now I have to invest someone else and they're probably going to wreck me. Oh look! Blow up all the crates! Boom! Um... Give me... Freeze! Ah! Oh. Hey! We must have done it! Do you have 200? Maybe it's 200 over the whole time rather than 201 go. We're going like the giant. Probably because we defeated him. It's 24. Lovely. Cool. So, if we go here, we could unlock that character. We could also unlock the, the giant now. It's the second one. I presume they, they stack sword stuff, or they seem to be similar. Let's get this guy, because that's nice cheap. 3% lockpick chance. What does that even mean? Do I, do I just get bonus? I don't know. Let's sell the goods, and after that, I'll show you what happened for me to finish. The six things. Awesome. That means getting money is going to be a lot... Well, not a lot easier now. Dale's extra damage against ranged monsters. That's good. This should take us over the 20 mark. Okay, I need the 22. Awesome. Okay. 
So, a good way to finish up is to show you what happens at the end of a, a realm. You've kind of finished everything. All the quests are complete. So we click on this button up here. We pick up Anchor. And we move forward by jumping so it can move. <laughs> I really enjoyed this game. I've had a lot of fun with it. I don't know what the 129, 51, 15 means, but... We've moved up into what seems to be the, the middle, coming towards the middle of the map now. I don't know what the sails, east wind, and masts mean. That's her monsters, but hey, I know if I click on this, we're up the next area. Brand new quests, brand new dungeons, new enemies, probably even, maybe even new mechanics. I don't know, but hey, this game is a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying it. And I hope if you enjoy Match 3 games, you check it out for yourself. I think this would be even better on a phone, honestly. This game with the matching... It'd be so tactile on a phone, and that's what I'm looking for. Four dollars, I've got to pick it up on my phone at some point. It's gonna be great fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. <laughs> that that first really good run with the 6:30 distance, I was getting pretty excited. But thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.